Morning guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another ride along video. If you're new here, my name's Jeff. I'm a former downhill and enduro racer. Now I make videos like this. Today we're doing a quick cross country ride here on Galbraith Mountain, Bellingham, Washington, where I live. And I'm riding my Ripmo V2. So Motion Instruments, it's a telemetry company that makes sensors that measure how fast and how often your fork compresses. They've hooked me up with a fork sensor to use for a little bit here. I'm gonna get some base point data on how the 36 Grip 2 works and the setup that I just kinda threw together. I've only ridden this fork on this bike really once before. Feels pretty good. Maybe make a few small tweaks on this ride. And in an upcoming video, we'll be getting more in depth on this. Today I wanna hit a few fun rides. Did a very similar ride yesterday. Just out the door on the ride just after six this morning. This is like the fourth or fifth day in a row of riding, so I'm pretty cooked. There's some riders over on Mohawk getting after it. Pre 7 a.m., good work guys. Or girls. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying Memorial Day weekend. Oh, look at that. That view today is going off. Let's check that out. You guys gotta see this, this is cool. So I gotta not fall off this cliff. Out there, you can just barely see Mount Baker and the sisters, but they're lit up from two angles, from the sun above, and then the sun's bouncing off the clouds, hitting it at a second angle, so they look really special. Yes, there are the tops of trees underneath me. The Ripmo V2. Motion Instruments just set me up with this telemetry advice. Just gotta connect it. Okay, calibrate sensor. Fully extend your wheel. So apparently I'm running 30 mils a sag. Should be pretty good. You can see I'm like squishing, 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 and it plays out in real time what's happening. Let's hit record. Cool, it's going, five seconds in. Put this in the pocket. I'm not really one for gadgets, but I'm really curious about the actual numbers behind these forks. Low speeds for when you're doing a gentle movement. What does that even mean? Come on, everyone. Tell us, is that 1,000 millimeters per second or is it 200? So this is a cool way to actually quantify these generic terms everyone uses that annoy me to no end. This trail's real fun. You've all seen it a couple times on the channel. It's running good right now. Oh, this bike doesn't quite handle like a little wheel bike. Already getting dusty here. Oh, a little offline there.
Oh, off the pedals. Ah. Oh. Curious what we saw there. So four minutes, 44 moving time. Fork sag was 17%. Average compression was two and an eight G-forces. 67% of the time I was in the first third of the stroke. Two thirds of the stroke was 27%. And the last third was 5%. I could probably go softer. So I only used 88% of my travel, never bottomed out. So maximum compression speed was 30 900 millimeters per second. Average was 1,000. Average rebounds a tad slower, just under 800 millimeters per second. Max 28, so it feels pretty good. So I could probably go for a softer air pressure, I'm guessing. Very tired today. And then high speed was all the way out. Wow. Seems like I could probably get away with a little softer fork pressure and in turn bump up the compression a few more clicks. Maybe I'll notice it, who knows. The bike is really good, but man, that tight, pumpy trail, the 27.5 is really cool. I remember loving the Ritmo over on some other trails a little faster than that, so, hmm, interesting. Gotta earn our turns out of this little gully. Let's get our fork linked up. Real time. Go back of my legs, hamstrings. But I stretched real good last night, but asking for a break. So up here at the beginning of this trail reminds me of a bobsled run. You will see why. Oh. Feet are all over the place. Ugh. Swallow a bug. Oh, don't have the strength to pull that move right now. Every time I almost stick and go over the bars right there.
man, I feel like I'm bouncing around all over the place right now. Like I could have softer and slower. Off, whopping four minute downhill. Fewer G-forces on that trail. I think it's because it's a slower trail. Use similar numbers of stroke. So I got 163 mils of travel, max. So I used more travel, but less often. Max compression speed was almost 4,000, was 3,700 millimeters per second. And then the max rebound speed is 2,700. That felt sketchy to me. I wouldn't mind going almost a tad slower. Seems to work pretty well. Trail conditions are ideal. Let's pedal on out of here. Gotta be careful up here. This section's fast, but treacherous. Ooh, some sunlight's poking through. That'd be nice. It's been a lot of dreary morning rides lately. Morning. Morning. Just gripping footage of guy pedaling through the forest. Glad all these ferns are still surviving. I hope they make it through the summer. This would probably be pretty, pretty cool for some still photos. Before the sun comes up in the morning, it's kind of half dark, half light. If you've ridden in Bellingham before, you've probably seen this trailhead. This is the top of SST, sponsored by a local shop, Fanatic Bike. It's a real fun trail. It's more of a high speed flow trail, real jumpy. Some info over there about the parking lot fundraiser we're doing. Hey there. You too? Record. Excellent. Gosh, I'm hungry, I'm tired. This is kind of a dangerous time to ride. Oh, big old drift. Let's take this show home and drink some more coffee, eat some breakfast. It's interesting seeing what the fork's doing. Oh, morning. morning. Have a good ride. Thanks. Stay tuned, everyone. I've got a whole bunch of various fork videos coming in the next few weeks here. It's been fun riding with all of you. I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend. I hope you enjoyed it if you're watching this early in the week. Hit that red subscribe button below. Post these all the time here in May and maybe through June. And don't forget to smile, ride your bike, and have a good day. Peace. Oh, a little tired to really balance that. Very well.